Hello everybody, Lysander here. I'm just uploading a quick tutorial for Guild Wars 2 Combat Mode 1.1 on how to copy the ring graphic from Combat Mode 1.0 over to 1.1 because apparently uh, somebody who watched my video was having some problems with it and asked me to uh, upload a quick tutorial. So pretty much all you have to do is once you've got the Guild Wars 2 Combat Mode 1.1 set up on your computer, hopefully you followed all the steps in the README file. Very important that you do so. Also make sure that you right click on the launcher file, go to compatibility and run it as administrator because if you don't you're going to run into some issues. Uh, unpack your Combat Mode 1.0 folder uh, I do everything on the desktop just because it's nice, it's central, it's easy to find, I don't have to go hunting. Um, open the info and files crosshairs folder, find your ring file, copy your ring file onto your desktop. And now I don't recommend using paint. This might actually be the reason why the, the individual who messaged me was uh, experienced issues because he was using paint to save the PNG file as a bitmap file. And I'm not a big fan of paint. Paint is good for very basic uh, stuff like taking a screenshot that you've taken, you know, you press print screen uh, and you paste it into paint so you can save it. That's pretty much all I ever used paint for. With, um, every, with anything else, it doesn't really do uh, all that you need it to do. Uh, if you don't have Photoshop and you don't feel like pirating Photoshop, like I don't like pirating programs if I can avoid it, simply use Pixlr. Pixlr is an amazing website. Uh, it's pixlr.com, and they've got a mobile app that's free. The actual website is free. There's very basic versions, and then you, there's your advanced version. If you click on the advanced version, you'll notice it's practically Photoshop, and it is practically Photoshop. I absolutely love these guys for this website that they set up. It is great. At this point, what you want to do, open the image from your computer, Go to your desktop, open the ring. You'll notice, first off, that it's 24 by 24, and if you take a look at the actual um, crosshair files here, you'll notice they're all 101 by 101. Uh, this is something that I noticed recently, actually, and uh, I was wondering for a while why all of my ground targeting abilities were not centered with the crosshair. It was very annoying, especially with the blinks and the uh, skills that allow me to evade uh, by jumping a set distance to where my crosshair is because they weren't going as far as they should. So I realized that it's because of the fact that it's 24 by 24. So while the center of my ring reticle, say, was where this uh, large circle black picture was, the actual center where my crosshair was, or where my mouse was locked to, was way down here by large circle purple. So there was a big, big difference between where I thought it was going to activate the skill and where it was actually dropping the skill. Uh, this is something that we want to fix. And if you're using the file directly from Combat Mode 1.0, it's as simple as selecting your arrow tool to make sure that you're, you've got this window selected. Um, select all, copy, file, new image. Make sure you create it as a 101 by uh, 101 pixels file. Select transparent because we want the background transparent. We don't want a white box around our ring and paste it. It'll automatically center it to the middle of the image for you so you don't have to worry about moving anything around and all you have to do is file save it as ring as bitmap uh, and then select your desktop now if you're if you've already copied this little file made it a bitmap and thrown it into your combat mode 1.1 folder all you have to do in that instance is uh, open it find your combat mode 1.1 folder go into info and files uh, go into your crosshairs folder I don't actually have it there because I deleted it for the purpose of this video but all you have to do is open it you'll notice it has a white background so uh, select all copy paste it and then use your magic wand tool to get rid of the white background you'll have to do it from both the center of the ring and the outside of the ring I'm just using the small cross purple as an example and then once you've done that save it so once you've got it saved, you'll notice it'll be on your desktop. It, ignore the the actual image. It will have that white background. That's just the way BMPs work. It is still transparent, so don't panic. Uh, figure out which of the files in your crosshairs folder that you want to replace it with. In my case, it's uh, small circle. Where is it? Small circle, circle, circle. There we go. Small circle yellow. Um, rename that file just in case you ever want to revert the change. So I just threw a period onto the end. Take your ring file. 
um, rename it as small circle yellow, or in your case, whichever of the graphics you decided to replace it with, and then just copy and paste it in here. Uh, at that point, you've pretty much done everything you need to do. As long as there's no problem with your um, with the unpacked file that you've got for Guild Wars 2 Combat Mode, all you should have to do is make sure that your program, your your Combat Mode program is running. Open Guild Wars 2. Patch if you have to. I'm going to jump it straight to already in. And once you're in game, hit the insert key because by default that is what it is set to to open the uh, key rebindings. Make sure that the game, uh, make sure that combat mode is set to use small circle yellow. Set it to the height that you want it to be in. Hit save. And then hit the key that you set to activate it. My games could be a little laggy because I am recording screen region instead of using direct. Uh, uh, DX story, which would make things a lot smoother, but uh, I couldn't be bothered. At that point, yeah, it, it should work. If you're uh, experiencing any errors, you might have set something up wrong, so uh, delete the unpacked folder. You know, it, it'd probably be a good idea to just get rid of everything you got for Combat Mode 1.1, re-download the Combat Mode 1.1 zip file, extract it, make sure you follow all of the instructions in the readme file, uh, and at that point, copy your ring file in. Um, I will, I'll actually put a link in the video description for my ring file. So all you have to do is copy and paste it in. You know, download it, copy and paste it right into your crosshairs folder. That way you, know, you don't have to worry about all the mucking around. Theor in theory, you can use any graphic you want. You could, you, you could, if you find a custom crosshair that you like, all you have to do is make sure that A, the background's transparent, Get rid of any white space, save it as a bitmap, and make sure it's no bigger than one, 101 by 101 pixels. And then rename it as one of your crosshairs. You should be able to use anything you want to. If you're experiencing errors or crashing in the combat mode uh, launchable, maybe at that point it might be a good idea to try the auto hotkey script instead because it does still work with the auto hotkey script. Just go to the Reddit page that's linked in Combat Mode 1.1, the video that I uploaded previously, and download the auto hotkey script. Set that up. It does require a bit more uh, configuration and fidgeting with. Um, it, the, the launchable is a lot more convenient if it works, but if it doesn't, don't panic. Uh, you should be able to get the auto hotkey script set up. And once you've got that customized, uh, give it a try. See if it works. Additionally, I just have a little tip for everybody um, who's using combat mode, just in case you weren't aware of it. Because uh, while I figured it out early, uh, it did take me a little while to realize that I could do it. Um, all of your ground targeting skills are going to be based uh, on where the reticle is. And one of the nice things about Guild Wars 2 is the fact that you can ground cast skills behind you. Right? You don't have to be facing in the direction you're trying to cast a skill. So what you can do, it's actually really handy, but now I have to wait for uh, one of my ground targeting skills to recharge. Let's just do this. Um, what you can do is if you bind a key near WASD, a convenient key in my case, it's, uh, it's where the shift key would be. I use a G13, so it's not actually my shift key, but it's where the shift key would be. Make that the key to uh, turn the camera directly behind you. That way you can continue to run and evade if you need to. Um, but at the same time, you can drop your ground targeting skills behind you. Uh, it's still recharging without having to turn around. Uh, it's really handy. It's really nice, especially if you're, say, an elementalist or an engineer and you've got a lot of skills that you can drop behind you. Um, the uh, Guardian's wall that bounces enemies back, anything like that uh, for kiting purposes in, say, World, world v. World or um, uh, structured PvP or anything along those lines. Uh, it's, it's really handy um, to, to not have to turn around, not telegraph what direction you're going to be casting the spell in. Additionally, there's obviously a big difference between your forward uh, movement speed and your uh, backpedaling movement speed. Uh, but it's, it's just a really nice thing to know about. And like I said, it took me a little while to figure out that I could do that. It won't work with any skills that are directional fa directionally based, like phase retreat, for example. It's still going to move me backwards because it's based on which direction the character model is actually facing, not the direction of the camera. But uh, just in case some of you were not aware of that, there you go. Now you are. Uh, hopefully this uh, video was able to help 
um, the individual who was experiencing some issues with the combat mode uh, program crashing or having troubles bringing that ring file into combat mode 1.1. Hopefully this helps. All right, so uh, let me know if it does. Uh, let me know if it doesn't. Uh, if it doesn't, unfortunately, I can't really think of anything that could be causing the issue. So it might be, but you might be better off contacting the developer on Reddit just to see if he has any ideas. I don't know if he's still active over there, but he might be. I um, haven't really been checking up on it too much. With that said, Lethander out.